on March 4th, we held the Fireside Jam 2022. 192 people joined, and out of that, 48 games were submitted, which almost tripled last year's jam. The theme of the jam was Protect. And while we had a lot of really cool games submitted, in this video, we're going to be showcasing the top three community voted games, as well as the judges' favorite games from the jam. Those judges being myself, Cutout 2.0, a friend of mine and a judge from last year, Ben Brooks, the number one community voted winner from last year's jam, and Rocky Mullet, who came in third place out of the 407 games submitted to Vim Jam 2. So to begin with, the community picks. In first place is PR Protector. You are hired as employee number 843021 in the PR department at Peterson, Kane, and Cousins. Your job is to protect the brand at all cost. The art for this game was kind of minimal, but it gave me a Papers, Please slash Mind Scanners kind of feel, and that was obviously a plus. The game was made by Marie Loxen, Sarah Schult, Jesse Mendez, and Brian... Cherzanovsky. Congratulations to that team for first place. In second place is Underwing and Snow, where you play as a mother wyvern who stayed behind waiting for her babies to hatch. Now that they're ready to travel, you make the journey down the mountain to rejoin your colony. But you need to be wary of nightfall, because predators are waiting to pick off your little ones. This game succeeded in so many ways, and somehow without a word of dialogue, got me to care a lot about those little bundles of pixels. Underwing and Snow was created by Rainy Day Atelier. Congratulations to them for second place. In third place is Protect the Wizard. After many battles, the wizard and knight have confronted the evil witch. As the wizard charges the holy spell, the knight prepares to protect the wizard from the witch's minions. The game is a cute little one-bit arena brawler where you fight off waves of enemies. The game was made by Steve Pixelface. Congratulations to Steve for third place. And now we get to the judges picks. And unlike last year, all of the judges had a single favorite pick, which was PR Protector, where Cutout 2.0 was quoted as saying that their favorite part of the game was the cynicism formulating a modern critique of society's morals that show no more than a gong show of selfishness and unfortunately only grows within the end. But it's a good game that criticizes social media and the concept of marketing as a whole, so definitely go give that a try. But it would be no fun to end the video there, so we're going to talk about the judges' second favorite picks, because those were a little more diverse. Beginning with Cutout 2.0's second favorite game, Underwing and Snow. Where they said, They loved the soft feel given by the graphics and audio choices. It melded together with the story of the mother and young that could very much be felt and pulled the player into the game with a reason to care and protect. As for Ben Brooks, their second favorite game was Emberguard by Orange Jam, Nilolo, Niles, and Lightspeed 6. They said that despite some clunkiness with the gameplay, they thought that the atmosphere it created was fun and the gameplay loop of keeping up with the cart and finding more fuel was really engaging. Rocky Mullet's second favorite game was also Emberguard. They said that they really liked the gameplay loop of juggling between fighting enemies and keeping the fire lit, while going off the road and gathering supplies. 
It even had a little event with a wizard blocking the road that gave a cool change of pace. And as for me, my favorite game in the jam, while I enjoyed all of the games in this video, was The Protector by Time Travel Hamster. I thought the game scaled wonderfully, and by the end, the number of enemies and effects and things on screen got a little ridiculous, which was great. I'll leave a link down below to all the games, as well as a link to the jam page. There were a lot of cool games that didn't make it into this video, so be sure to check them out too. This year's jam was a lot of fun, and hopefully I'll get to see you all next year. I just wanted to give a huge thank you to my patrons. Because of them, my coffee cup is full. As always, the links to all the cool places that I hang out are down below, and if you decide to click on one, then I'll see you there.